before seeing very interesting and significant table to do with Sabbath, which is called Sabbat Chazon, in which we read the famous part in the book of Isaiah, Chazon Ishayahu, the vision of Isaiah about Jerusalem, yeah, introduction to the Tisha B'Av. So it is called Shabbat Chazon, the Sabbath of Chazon, because of the third word in the Aftara, in this Bible part that we read after the Torah, we start Chazon Ishayahu, the vision of Isaiah, Asher Chazav, which he saw on Jerusalem. So all the stories are about, unfortunately, that you're also going today. So what you have, it's very interesting, significant table. As you have in it 22, 28 letters, really, Koach, the Gematria of Strength, only comes in the verse, seven verse in the chapter 25. And all of this is 25, up to 24, really, verse, then a few verses in the basis of the skip for 28, the Gematria of Koach, Strength of God. You have all these verses, which are all of them related to this Sabbath and to Tisha B'Av. But before this, I want to show you Gematria, the interesting Gematria. The first thing the year that we are now is 2023, which is 783, which is really basically 573 after creation. And the Gematria of this word, Shabbat Chazon, Sabbath of Chazon, of vision, with the letters and the words, come total come to 783. I told you many times, if you listen to the YouTube properly, that in Gimatria, I have a book Gimatria about 200 uh, pages, we went into the Gimatria, one can get it in my site, there are some books, maybe in Amazon, but there are a lot of principles, yeah? So there is simple print gematria like Shabbat Chazon 780, yeah? Then with the word, with the total 7081. If you add the two, the three, so come to 783, which means that all those dates are very significant. As we mentioned, that is already indicated in many places, but you need repentance that redemption will come, no? It did not come, Jews did not repent, they were very busy with other things. So you have to wait, hoping that this one, which is the last one, and with the, the full numerical value of this, of this Shabbat Chazon, yeah, which comes to it. So we hope that it will bring, amazingly, even the Hebrew word Tisha Be'av, ninth of Av, as you can see, also comes to 73, yeah, with the two verses in the total, same idea, no, unbelievable, like telling that ninth of of this year is a time careful for Shuvah, because 783 is the numerical value of the Sod Shuvah, the, the secret of repentance, but basically secret is the basis of repentance, unbelievable, no, who knows what will be. So, let us see now the most important verses in this part, which is small part, few verses, but the most important one are con consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you, each of you is to return to your family, property, and to your own clan. Then the verse later, 18 and 19, said, Follow my decree and be careful to obey, to obey my laws, and you will live safely in the land. Then the land will eat its food, and you will eat your fill and live there in safety. No, this is what we need. But what, to, what we need is repentance. So these are the main verses. Now, very important to know. Okay, again, this, if you want follow my, my YouTube, there are 
argument, what is a jubilee exactly? If he's exactly the 50th, yeah, one of the 50th, but 50th by itself, and the first of the sabbatical is a new round. But some say no, the 50th can go together with the first one of the sabbatical. So there are argument in the Talmud, and the law is, according to the Maimonides, when we don't have the temple, that really the first year of the sabbatical, called also the 50th, is exactly what you have today. Also, Kabbalists told me, you know, that according to Kabbalah, the time of Messiah is the time of Messiah, is the time of Jubilee. Interesting. So all, <laughs> all the signs that we have now, the time for Messiah. Or like the Gemara in Sanhedrin, 97, he says, Sabbat, the sabbatical wars. After sabbatical, Messiah. No, after war we had already. <laughs> we have still, and then Messiah. So we are now exactly the time of Messiah, but all what we are missing is repentance, as we see here. The secret of repentance, unbelievable. So we are in such suitable time. And all the signs show that also what is going in Israel, you know, and all the signs that Talmud says that uh, people God fearing God will be despised and uh, fighting in Shiva boys and Orthodox and uh, incitements against religions. Everything is happening. So we have all the signs from Messiah. So what we are missing, Shuba? Okay, now look on this table. I think it is uh, if somebody of common sense. <laughs> You can immediately see that this table is far away from big coincidence. Why? Right. I started this. The first thing I started for the best meeting that I was looking for was the Hebrew word Shabbat, the Sabbath, and Chazon. Chazon. It couldn't come together because there are too many letters and not usual. So this comes Shabbat, Chazon. Okay, so I saw the place. As you can see, chapter 25. Leviticus, yeah, for eight going down. Then I thought, no, Jubilee here also fits very nice. The Shnat Hamishim, the fifth year here, comes here exactly fits with it. Then I thought to myself, no, if so, maybe it should be indicating to Messiah. So I was looking for the word Messiah. You can see in black, Messiah, Messiah. And then I realized it on the same skip, you have Matai, Mem of Mishpatim. Yeah. This is a Mem, Matai, Mashiach, when Messiah will come. Who? Then I thought, very likely will be also a date for Messiah. So then I saw Betaf Shin Fe Aleph in 5781, which is exactly the time according to Khatam Sofer. Remember, more than that, so we got in his book on the verse. In some, Merashpot Yarim Evion, Merashpot, from the refuse we will lift up the needy, indicates to the time that Israel will be in difficult situation. Then comes the sabbatical, which we have here also, Tabshin Pei Bet, 5782, which is the sabbatical. Now we are in the Motseshi, but now we are in the Jubilee, which comes afterwards, yeah, as we mentioned. So all this showed clearly unbelievable that the question when Messiah will come, no, exactly from the year 5781, 2021, 20, 20, 2022, and Jubilee, which is 2023. But no, where is he? Where is he? Here the Torah tells you. Be it shuv, <laughs> in red, with repentance. Why oh, you want Messiah? You want redemption? Yeah. So then, this Shuvah, then you will have Messiah, then Elijah will come. Very interesting. Parallel Elijah, Bagoel, Redeemer will come. All this in very small area, only 28 letters, the basis of the skips. 28 is the miracle value of Koach, of strength. Very famous verse. Koach Ma'asa Vigilamo, God, the strength of God. He told us. I looked for Tisha B'Av, I could not try clearly, but it's coming Tisha Av, ninth of Av. Also very interesting for this preparation. So, looking at this table, 
you have like a hana preparation because this Shabbos is preparation for Tisha B'Av and we have to learn a lot about the causes why all the what brought the destructions yeah and this we have in this portion the Varim Deuteronomy Varim the first person telling us because of lack of faith Meraglim because of argument yeah which we are up to today unfortunately and this is a Hana preparation for redemption so we have here really the center the most important verse do my status and my judgment then then we shall then we sit on your land in the cure you will have fruits and then uh, lots of blessings no but what you need for the blessing returning to the Torah keeping the Shabbos and everything um, unfortunately with this situation Israel the leftists and so on appeared and Lieberman and Barak and Barak all are doing anything everything against the Torah against the Shabbos against sanctity purity of life so interesting and very significant tables in such a small area yeah one shift a few verses to find when Messiah will come his repentance <laughs> and all this uh, is the days which are the most important the sabbatical and the performance the jubilee exactly what Kabbalah 6 says that's the Messiah will come okay no people up to now no, maybe some who believe what in the Bible called even the great rabbis you know say that it is uh, definitely it is, uh, 800 years ago was used by Rabbi Nubach about exactly the date of the birth of the moon according to the second yeah, which I only found out later on and many other things that the Torah which is a blueprint of creation tells us yeah this is what is written this is already in the book of Rabbi Moshe Kedavero the great Kabbalist and Abu Lafia and Rokeach you know, that is already clearly brings that one of the ways that Torah gives our messages is through Bible code, Torah code. And the expression I said many times, because to understand it, <coughs> what is the reason that later after letting the Torah, blueprint of creation, so that is written in the Kabbalah, Vilna Goen, God created the world with the Torah, which means like today, I always I mention it because my son is a pilot, so what he's doing before flying, you put in the computer exactly the, the, the way from here, from here to this, from here to here. And then everything goes nicely, unless the weather is not, unless there are uh, all kinds of problems, yeah? But if the weather will be okay and everything will be okay, no problem, so the pilot can sleep, yeah? But, if not, so exactly this is the Torah. When God created the world, he created it with the program of the Torah. Yeah? Five books of Moses, only there, yeah? Then, he planned all history, yeah? If you go in my way, keeping Torah, happiness, joy, security. If not, the opposite. Ninety-eight curses just became before the first world war. In second world order, yeah. So this is exactly so. God tells us, if you do tshuva, repentance, then the Demir will come, Elijah will come, and all those verses, beautiful verses, as we saw, yeah. Follow my decrees and I, the, and be careful to obey my laws, and you will live safely in the land. Then the land will yield its fruits, and you will. Eat, you feel, and live there in safety. No? Yeah, unbelievable. And the gematria fits so much, everything fits us. But apparently, what is not yet, the tshuva. But who knows? Who will bring now to do tshuva? You know, now they are very worried because pilots in Israel, many pilots say they will not fly because of this judicial, how you call it, no, no, perhamish patit, so I'm sure that Iran and Hezbollah are so happy now they can easily can destroy Israel what they want now. 
No, they can fly nicely, no plane will disturb them. Frightening, you know, you know by the way, this brought destruction, because the main cause of destruction was hatred. Interesting, hatred. Even the first temple was destroyed from the rabbis because hatred between the, the, the rabbis or the leaders, amazing. The second one, because there was a lot of arguments within Jews themselves, right? Then this is a way to do also, unfortunately. This is a danger, a great danger of what is going to do. Maybe this is what will bring Jews to repent, to do Shuvah. So, as I said, very significant table. We also are looking at it properly, and you will see how significant it is that you have in such a small area 28 letters. All this related verse about Messiah and repentance, Elijah and Messiah and Jubilee, amazing. And the very significant days, in the 5781, this is what the days the process started. Yeah, what in the book, you can see in the book of Khatam Sofer. Yeah, about the, it is in, really on the Leviticus, really, on the third, on the portion of the Chukotai. Clearly, he says, this psalm, this verse in psalm exactly indicate to it. So, interesting and significant table for our time. Let's have a good Shabbos, very important Shabbos. Some say that this Shabbos is the most important Shabbos in the whole year. So have a good Shabbos.